Hi, this is Dave from Angelos in Lockport, New York. I'm going to go through some basic understandings here of education on uh, tire pressure monitoring systems. Uh, these systems were implemented uh, back in 2005 and the uh, Federal Motor Vehicle Safety Administration uh, implemented that all vehicles manufactured, especially automobiles, have to have these um, tire pressure monitoring sensors because back in, I think it was late 90s, early 2000s, Ford Explorers were having issues with their tires failing and they determined it was because of the, uh, the low pressure. People weren't keeping an eye on their pressures in their tires, which is very important, obviously. So um, these were some of the first systems designed, this one right here, uh, when they implemented a new law. If you can see right here, the, the stem is made out of aluminum, you got aluminum nut on it. The issues we're having here in New York State is the, the road salt and the stuff they mix, this brine solution is very, very corrosive. So these nuts, which are aluminum, they actually end up corroding to the stem and you cannot get them off when you go to replace your wheel or do any repair on the, the, the sensor itself. The other thing people have and I've seen manufacturers put metal stem uh, caps on this aluminum uh, tip here. What happens, you try and take it off, it actually uh, breaks the tip right off. You can see with this one right here, so it, it actually broke this tip right off basically. Um, this is the stem part. This is the, the main body with electronics. These have a radio transmitter into them. They transmit a signal to the inside of the vehicle. There's a battery in here. Uh, pretty high-tech piece. And the environment spinning around at sometimes up to 60, 70, 80 mile an hour, it's pretty amazing that these actually hold up to that. See, these actually generate electricity to keep the battery charged up. And uh, what GM has done, I think, in the last three years that they now... Uh, update a lot of their cars to a rubber valve stem with the sensor mounted to it. Um, it won't corrode anymore, holds up better, more resist. it's actually a little flexible. I think it's a lot better idea. But I noticed um, some foreign manufacturers and other ones, they still use this this other older style. You know, why? Who knows? But the only thing that happens is uh, the batteries go bad after a period of time. So these, the life expectancy of these, we've seen about five years, four to five years, and the sensor stopped reading and then you'll get your light come on on your dashboard. So then you, you basically have to re replace the, the whole sensor itself. We have these installed for about $75 programmed and everything. Um, you can upgrade this style to the rubber stem that I showed you here, and they're the same price. So we in New York State, I'd recommend uh, people do that. Um, these are the new sensors we actually use right here. They're programmed, they're very resilient. Uh, what else happens to these is you can't get the screws on them, they break. Um, this section actually breaks right off sometimes, cracks a sensor, and then the most popular cause of failure of, is people not knowing how to dismount the tire off the rim because of the location of the sensor. If you're not careful taking the tire off the rim, it puts pressure on there so it will crack it and, and, and cause the sensor to actually go bad. So if you've got any questions, give me a call at 625-6125. Uh, we have these in stock. If it, we can easily replace them, upgrade them, or whatever you need. We have the ability to program just about any uh, vehicle TPMS systems here. Thanks for watching.